Well, hello everyone. This isn't exactly an English lesson. It is just me telling you that I have some good news today. I went to the hospital for a routine test called an angiogram where they took a look at my heart. You can see the bandage here is where they went in to uh, insert dye into my heart and they took a look at my heart and everything looks good. I'm really happy about that. As some of you might know, I had heart surgery uh, about a year and a half ago and I have been recovering well. Um, but today I was just really happy to get some good news. Uh, I will teach you a little bit of English though because I can't help it. In English, sometimes we'll say to people, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Which news do you want to hear first? In my case today, I only have good news to share with you, uh, so you don't have to choose. So today was good news for me. Um, so when we say to people though, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news first? Usually in English, people will choose to hear the bad news first. I know if someone says to me, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news, I usually choose to hear the bad news first. I would rather hear the bad news and get that out of the way before I hear the good news that they have to share. Anyways, Bob the Canadian is super happy today because I don't know if some of you have ever had heart problems, but uh, I am very relieved and very happy that I got good news today that my heart is in good shape and that uh, hopefully going forward, I will eat well and I will exercise and I will keep it that way. So anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Just want to say hi to all of you. I hope you're all having a good day and I hope you are still enjoying learning English with me.